Hello everyone, it's Mark from Two Old Gamers and recently you may have noticed on our YouTube channel that Mike uh, has been heavily involved in uh, Conan Exiles and uh, has uploaded quite a few videos of his, his base that he's building and um, I just thought I would take the time uh, after spending 24 hours in No Man's Sky's next update um, I thought it about time that I showed off uh, what I've been doing instead of playing Conan Exiles with Mike. So here I am. Uh, it's my Buzz Lightyear outfit, suitable for the game. Okay, so let's go to my ship and uh, just have a quick look at the system I'm in. So. I can't believe that I've spent another 24 hours in game in No Man's Sky. Wiped my save, started all over again. Next is a revolution. It really is the game I wanted to play. Okay, so we're now aboard the Millennium Sparrow. Uh, quite a good name, I thought. Okay, so. Okay, so I've been trying to go through the base building uh, stuff, so rather than taking you straight to my base on my Kamarucho Prime world, I've also been um, building up my space fleet, so let's just get a blast over and have a look at that. This is running on a standard PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, PS4 Pro enhancements here, but even on the PS4, this game looks incredible. Oh, it's time for my jump. Okay, so here we have. So. Early on in the game, if you're lucky, you get the chance to defend a freighter from pirates. And if you defeat the pirates, the captain will give you, um, well, so basically, as thanks for defending them, he will hand over the ship to you to control. So this is my captain ship. Now freighters were introduced in the, um, I think the, possibly the, the Pathfinder update, um, maybe Foundation, uh, but it was definitely improved upon in Atlas Rises, but it was uh, like high level, you had to have lots and lots of money, and it was out of my reach because I just didn't spend enough time in the game. So to be able to now get one fairly early on for free is um, fantastic. So this is the bridge of my ship. Um, now the, the crew are all gek, which are these little sort of frog-like dudes, um, which is interesting because when I first bought this ship they were all Corvax, which were the robot guys, and when we warped into a system they all changed. Don't know why, one of those interesting bugs. There you go, look, he's, he doesn't have to be a captain anymore, I'll do it all for him so he's happy. Um, so of course, the freighters um, are a good way of sort of like having an extra storage where you can just send more stuff over to the, the freighter uh, for storage. Uh, but it also now has the added functionality of um, you can build a fleet of little frigates that um, uh, follow you around and also can help you out but also do missions for you as well so you can send them off on like uh, uh, support missions so currently I've got um, an exploration frigate which can go off on science missions um, I need to rename these ships I need to think of a good naming scheme um, so that ship's doing all right. Uh, we've got a combat ship. Now, the combat frigates are brilliant because 
if you're uh, attacked by pirates and your fleet are in the same system as you, the combat frigate will dispatch fighters to help you out. So you essentially you get two wingmen um, qu quite quickly by your side to help you fight pirates, which is awesome. And then we've got a supply vessel, which um, also um, you can um, collect more um, materials from that as well. So these frigates, they're not just um, they're not just like uh, oh, it's a, you send them on missions and that's it, and they they're either there or not there. Um, but let's just have a quick look around here because. I haven't really dabbled with this, but of course you can do essentially the base building stuff in your frigate, so you can add more storage here, or more rooms, or technology, you can build this as like a mobile base completely. Um, I have added in here, oh uh, no, not here, in here, these are the two sort of essentially quarters that are required to manage your fleets ships when they're on expeditions for you so they can report in and so let's just um, run back here ah there you go. this is so also the frigates allow you flam freighters allow you to store ships so of course that's my starter ship safely um, docked and I don't have to worry about losing that ship but currently we're using the old Millennium Sparrow here which is a nice little shuttlecraft. So, let's just go off. And the cool thing that I, I love about this game is, as well, is that these frigates, they're not just sort of like cosmetic, as I said, these are actually um, ships in their own right. So, Cargo, they've collected, excellent. Anything else? For me? Okay, so this is my uh, support frigate, and yeah, I've landed outside the ship and I'm now wandering around essentially in space. Um, and there's loads of different types of frigates as well, so I won't bore you with all of them, but so basically, when you um, when you uh, send a frigate off to a mission, there's a chance they could fail, and if they fail, um, the frigate will come back um, damaged. So there'll be systems on each frigate that you have the chance to um, repair. So like in here is the uh, air conditioning plant, you can't actually go in through for some reason, but uh, you can have to, might have to repair the, um, the engine or one of the other systems and you know it's another way of making you do uh, more resource gathering but you can't use that frigate until it's repaired. Uh, right, let's just go over here, go back to the ship. which is quite often. As you can see there's a, a ringed planet in the background there. Um, this system is the, actually sort of like my main, it's like the fourth system I, I uh, jumped into and it's the first system that had a planet that didn't 
have a, uh, an environment that immediately wanted to kill me. So I kind of called it home. Um, and I've been hanging around this two planet system for quite a while, just like doing the initial base missions. Right, let's just do one more trigger, which is the original one that I got when I. Um, This is um, a science missile. Uh, science vessels, possibly the more sort of like uh, 2001 esque type ship with the old spinning thing. And at least this one you can actually go inside as well. Um, there's a little uh, area here. This is where all the um, consoles that need repairing it usually are and this is the ship that actually has uh, its own engine room oh. this always needs repairing if it gets damaged on a, on a mission so yeah so you've got options here to sort of like travel the universe send your fleet with you and, and uh, there's opportunities to you know go into other uh, fleets as they hyperspace in and recruit other frigates. Um, they can work for you for a certain amount of money. I think I've just gone to the wrong landing pad. Yep, my ship's over there. I don't want to jump jump between the two platforms because the infinity is a long way to fall. So that is my so what I've kind of been working on as well is this sort of fleet management thing. Um, so I've got my my little fleet that's ready to building up slowly, ready to take on the universe. Uh, once I'm ready to leave, so let's just hop down to Carolina Prime. Contents that are worth a lot of money, so I've been able to get my credits up quite quickly. Okay, let's just land here on my little island, and here we are my base, which currently is not the technical marvel you'd expect it to be, it's mainly wood. Uh, support uh, supply crate there. Um, yeah, I'm going for that sort of like tropical island feel. Um, in here, we've just got a very simple bed, uh, save point. This is a, a new piece of equipment I've installed, which is a, a medium refinery for uh, re making, combining two elements into one. Uh, I can now change my appearance in my own home rather than having to go to a space station the normal refinery and the blueprint analyzer for making finding and making more stuff and then what I started building a, a more traditional uh, base from No Man's Sky but then realized that I don't actually have the blueprint to make a door so I can't get in it which is a bit annoying uh, but doors are coming uh, and I've managed to build a teleport unit so rather than having to fly around I can quite literally dial into my little personal stargate and 
hop over to other systems as I please. And then my latest addition, just tonight, after working hard on this uh, bit, was I finally built my Exocraft. So now I can not only can I now uh, travel the world a little bit quicker uh, with no fear of running out of uh, oxygen or anything like that and I think the ice will still goes down I need to make roads to get off to this island now uh, working on that yeah so I can now properly explore this, this planet that I'm on and I love this planet it's just full of uh, interesting little nooks and crannies and minerals and, and uh, alien artifacts and um, the, um, the X-Craft has a, a jump jet in it so you can do boost jumps and um, one of its other little redeeming features that I quite like is um, hold on, let me just try and do it it's amphibious which means I can now travel under the ocean on the ocean floor without losing oxygen and this is another part of my planet that I can get to uh, have a proper look at so hopefully I'm towards the end of the base construction quests so once they're all done and out of the way it's time to move on and recolonize, recolonize another planet hopefully so there you have it, that is my my little world that I've been pouring my heart and soul into for the last few weeks. Um, oh no. Oh great, I've just found out that Exocraft need fuel. Never knew that. That's going to be annoying. Where do they take us fuel? Oxygen. Oh. Well that'll do. I've got lots of oxygen. Okay, well this is going to take a while to get back to my base. This way. Didn't think of that. Oh, hello. I haven't got these guys. Oh, no, I have got these guys. guys I can't not underwater cabin system yeah I'm on it let's go oh no it's just a oh disappointing So the next thing to do is upgrade my extra craft to get some uh, jetpacks on it so I can do it go a little bit faster. Alright, evil can evil. There we have it. This is my beginnings of my base. That can't believe I'm 24 hours into this game already, but there you go. Well, hopefully, you've enjoyed looking at my uh, my little work that I've been working on, and. Uh, We'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Remember to like this video. And 
Thank you for watching. Goodbye.